please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Tim. Anybody got any comments on the minutes? Move to accept the minutes of the April 12th select board meeting. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? <coughs> Under old business, I think Dot White would like to talk about a gazebo. Dot? Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Am I on? Yep. <laughs> Money, how much money is in the fund? $6,700. Doug, I asked Lisa how much money was in that account today, and there's $6,708. Yes. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it might be a little less than that right now with that discount. Um, so we should be able to take care of it. What is the price? What is the price of the casebo? What is the price? The price of the casebo. The price of it? Yes. Um. Well, I think it's going to be around. I haven't been there yet. Um, sixty-five hundred. Where is it coming from? What is it? It's Pennsylvania. But what company is uh, it? It's that famous, that famous company. That's all they do. The, um, the Amish people. Oh, what is the name of that? I think it's all uh, um, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Amish country is equals. Oh, okay. Anybody else got any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Where is it going to go? I, I believe everybody's talking about putting it up by the town office out in the grass section between the, the road that goes around the town office, this strip of uh, land there that basically it's all grass. Then the packing one. Okay. I think it would be a nice addition to the town. To me, when I look at town, I see a gazebo. It's kind of a welcome way. Oh, we're right here. It's kind of a welcoming, uh, friendly little building. And I think it would, it would add to my bit to this center up there. Um, it could be used for certain things that would not uh, interrupt in any way the town. And and 
Anybody else got any questions? So basically, it's, there's left like roughly $200 to prepare the building left over. I started this project 10 years ago, and I'm not getting any younger, and I said, I'm going to try to wind this up. <laughs> so, uh, and that's where the money came from, is from her raising the money. Yeah. Tom, do you know as far as, like, base, what it, does it have to be put on and pad, or can it go on a ground pad? She's going to give me some information. I'm going to look at the plans and see exactly what it has to go on. Okay. Going to go through it. We'll get it ordered on the way, and then we'll go from there, and I'll figure out what I'm going to have for a base. I looked at the area with John. Dot had, called, Dot had called me this morning, so I looked at the area with John this morning just to see if, as far as setbacks, yep. road-wise, from Route 4 and then the other way, and then you know, if there was concerns there, we would have to have the area dig safe, but it didn't look like there were utilities there. That's not to say there won't be. Um, and then the concern was just setting it back far enough so that coming out of that road or out of our parking lot, when you're looking up, you don't have sight distance, but there's room to put it back further. And where it's a smaller size than what was originally being discussed, um, if you put it in the middle there, there's still room to plow the snow and that type of thing. So it looks like there would be space. <coughs> yeah, so she's, she's fundraised all the money to purchase the gazebo. So basically she's asking the town to pay for the slab and the maintenance ongoing. Is that what we're looking at here? And we may not even have to pay anything on that. She's going to keep on collecting for the next two or three months. Yeah. Do you have more bag stock to sell? Do you have any? No, I'm supposed to have about 14, and I, I, they aren't in the same place they were. Family members are sometimes wolfing. I'm still looking. Okay. So, Leanne, we had uh, tote bags that Dot had made up that had a gazebo on them, and okay. did it say? Does it say kind of J? I'd say something on it too that we were selling at the town office for, oh, for fundraising, and then she's done a bunch of um, like raising money by the polls. She would set up the polls and ask for donations. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else got any questions? Motions? I'll make a motion to go ahead and order the gazebo. Motion made and seconded. Is order the gazebo. All those in favor? Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, Don, I'll call you tomorrow. We'll get it figured out how we go about doing it. Great. Right. Okay. And again, thank you, Dot. Uh, thank you. Next on the agenda, sewer rates, public hearing notice. Questions? Motions? Make motion to sign the uh, public hearing notice for sewer rates. For the 2021-2022 year. Second. Second. Mo motion made and seconded. All those in favor? What are you saying on that? By me? I didn't hear anything. I seconded it. No, she said, what are you studying on that? Oh, they're, they're studying, they had to sign the public hearing notice tonight. The public hearing is the next meeting. Oh, it's not this meeting. No, no. It's the, no the notice they had to sign was tonight, and then whatever they, if they wanted to see anything specific, to give Mark guidance on what to bring for the next meeting for information. Because I took it as it was going to be tonight, the public hearing Oh, I'm sorry, no. That's what it sounded like was tonight. Yeah. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's May 10th. You can go back next time. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 the care I notice was just. So my question is, do you want to see any scenarios? I gave you some information. Do you want to see something different? Because we'll be doing it here, as Tom and I discussed, the problem we can't just go in the other room and come back with the numbers if you want to change something. So. I don't know how, what anybody else might like to see, but, you know, basically, last, what, 11? five, six, seven years, we've been trying to get to 100%. Yep. And with that 0.095, you're at 100.3. Yep. And that's really what we've been trying to do for many years to yep. get that up, so. I think just for ease, if we could just drop it back to the 095. When we got the 0952, that was because we tried to hit a certain revenue goal that year. And that's what we had to do to hit that goal. So if we could just kind of round it back down to the 095, that would be easier to explain, easier to comprehend. And it still would raise over just over 100% of the one in cost. And when we say 100%, that's the operation and the maintenance. Operation and maintenance cost, yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's good. Anybody else got anything they'd like to see? Or? Very good. Next, the Livermore Falls Sewer Department Plan Office Building Addition. Which, as we all know, that certainly came in way higher than we all thought it was going to. Yeah, it kind of dwarfed any of the projections and definitely we over nearly four times what we thought we wanted to spend on it. So now that it's been up to bid and we see we can't afford to have it to bid, I would like the board's permission, I went to Little Falls board last week, um, to see if we can do something, I want to call it in-house or GC it in-house. In other words, have me go around and get some prices from some contractors in the area to do the plumbing, the electrical, the concrete work, the earth work, do it all, and I would just organize it. I would be the GC. Um, we did this something similar when we did the pump station, pump station five, um, and we ended up saving, we did it for about half of what the engineer's estimate was. So if we can do this for about half of what the engineer's estimate was, we'll be in good shape and that's about what we're looking to spend. So by doing this, we can use, we'll have to buy the plans from the engineer because USDA funds and the SRF funds will not pay for that if we're not going right by the letter of their design. Um, we'll use their design as a model with a goal in mind, but we'll let the electricians do what the electricians do Carpenters do what the carpenters do. I'd like to have Morris Smith be the inspector for it, um, oversee it, because I'm not going to be able to watch it every second. I'd like to have somebody there and make sure we have some quality control and it gets built the way it should. So it's a 16 by 28 edition with a four foot overhang. I can't see it coming in at the price that they, they gave us, just under $400,000. Which, as you said, is four times more yep. than we expected. Yeah, exactly. What's the general condition that was on that list? First one, 67,000. That's, you'll get it as profit right off the top. Um, I think that's what, you know, it, it covers the contractors. Um, I would say time coming to look at it, uh, mobilization, demobilization, making all the calls to you know get up everybody there on time. That's what I saw that as. Tom, do you have anything else here on the business? The general conditions at the top of the list of six. I hope never use that fly at this point, but I will go on forward. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of money. But. There is going to be some electrical because we're going with uh, heat pumps for heating systems, so there's going to be some supply to that. 
Um, they're going to be just outlets. There, there are two open rooms. It's, it's vinyl side, wood frame construction, wood trust, shingled roof. Um, there's going to be some lights in the ceiling, electrical outlets, um, connections for the computer, you know, minor. There's nothing fancy in this. It's not a SCADA system. It's not buying a computer system. It's, it's pretty straightforward, really. I was down there today looking at it. And, uh, there are some areas where we can, I wouldn't say cut corners, but reduce the scope some from what was actually put out to bid. So that's going to be some of the savings, hopefully, we can realize as well. Well, how anybody else feels, I don't certainly don't mind my going out and try to get another price and see what that is, because it will still come back in front of the boards. And what I'll do is I will have a list of the contractor that I spoke with. I'll have the price that they gave. Um, so you'll know everybody that I've talked to going down through and come back to this board and the Liverpool Falls board because this is going to be a joint expenditure out of the reserve account funds. So both towns have to approve it. So, you know, if Jay approves it, the Liverpool Falls does it, it does apply. And same vice versa. Before we vote, I probably will bid on this job, so I probably should not vote at this point. What's up to you guys? I don't have your problem voting on this, this bad. This, this is just going out for bid. Yeah. But it's actually not going to bid. It's, I'm going to get yeah. prices. I'm going to, if you have time to do this, and, the next, and that's the other thing, we've got to get on this. It's got to be started okay. ASAP. So I've act I actually started making some phone calls today um, because I've been hearing electricians are the ones that we can't get. I, I have talked to an electrician that is interested in doing it, so, and they are insured workforce currently, so that that has been jumped. Make a motion for Mark to go out for bids. <coughs> to get prices, not get bids. What's that? To get prices, not oh. for your yeah, prices will come back to you with the cost system. You make that a motion? I made a motion. It's all seconded. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? All those opposed? Just not voting. Abstaining. Skip over the next. Election of AVCOG officers. I saw a one on here, I'm not pretty concerned about it. <laughs> you think the right end should be in there? I think we should be able to talk the right end. <laughs> <laughs> Shiloh is the secretary clerk on the AVCOG. We got a president of OPAR, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary clerk, which is our own town manager on that, which I think is real good because all the contacts and things that will come out of that. Does anybody get any questions or how they want to vote on? <coughs> Motion? And this is a board vote ballot? Yep. Because yep. the official? I, I received a personal ballot because I'm on the General yeah. Assembly. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I should vote twice. Is that legal? I think you can vote as in your General Assembly position and then as the board, so. What? Yeah. So who do I write in? <laughs> <laughs> we have that. Uh, Diane Barnes of Lisbon, Treasurer, Treasurer Leslie Bonus Hartford, and Secretary Clerk Shiloh. Second. 
Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Dates of the following meetings and events. April 27th, town meeting vote. That will be at the middle school gym. April 28th, road committee meeting at 10 o'clock at the town office. May 4th, planning board public hearing on Essex project, 6 o'clock right here in this gym. May 5th, Timber Harvest bid opening, 2 o'clock town office. May 10th, select board meeting and public hearings on sewer rates, 6 o'clock right here in the gym. May 18th, planning board meeting, 6 o'clock here at the gym. May 24th, select board meeting here at the gym. Now we're going to go into executive session. <coughs> I move we go into the Here I have a question. Yes. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Shiloh, what's for Shiloh? Is that all right? <laughs> when do they have a staff structure on Jewel Street? Do you know? We don't know yet. The budget vote is tomorrow, and then yeah. we'll have a road committee meeting on Wednesday. When do they want? And they'll do the lovely sidewalk at the same time? Right. That's special. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 